All right, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to be going over um, how I created these initials here. Um, so just something a little bit different uh, to, uh, to add a little bit more uh, personalization to the chimenea here. Um, so you can uh, kind of see what those look like there. Um, so um, let's, uh, let's get started. I'm just going to um, uh, go ahead and delete that so I can uh, I can restart that so the first thing I want to do is make this side active um, this is uh, side two so um, go ahead and make that side active I'm going to uh, create a sketch uh, click on that face so uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna lay out a six and a half inch circle uh, six inches up from uh, from this line here uh, so to uh, to do that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, uh, draw out a couple of lines. So uh, snap to the corner here. Um, draw this straight over till it snaps to uh, this edge. Um, I find it's easier to just zoom in. Uh, make sure it snaps to the edge uh, there. Uh, then I'll come over here and I'll find that midpoint and draw a line straight up type in uh, six and that will give me uh, that reference point there so I'll grab my circle tool uh, make sure it snaps to the end of that six inch line uh, type in 6.5 and press enter so that's how it's all gonna start uh, so it's gonna start out like that uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw um, I'm actually gonna type my text over here just makes it a little bit easier um, and then drag it into the circle. Uh, so I'm going to go up here to create, uh, grab my text tool. Um, I'm going to just do a regular type text. Uh, draw out a, a pretty large selection box. Um, and I'm going to type out the initials I want. Um, so uh, I did those at uh, uh, four inches in height, which I think is fine. Uh, this is the text uh, that I selected for it. Um, you can scroll through and uh, and pick out uh, what text you want. I recommend to stay away from uh, some of these uh, uh, script type texts. They don't tend to cut very well on the um, uh, plasma. Um, something that's you know got some substance to it tends to be the best. Um, so I'll go back to. Uh, if I can find what I had, um, this is what I had. I did it in bold um, just to make the uh, the lines a little bit more defined. Uh, so um, I'm going to give it a little bit of, uh, of spacing uh, because I am going to work with these separate and it's going to make it a little bit easier. Um, so I made them uh, four inches tall. Uh, you can make them a little bit bigger if you want. Um, we can always resize them later. Uh, as well once we get them inside that uh, that circle uh, but we're going to start with them like this so once I have these I actually need to turn these into vector lines uh, so I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to go to explode text and you can see right now these are, are green um, I actually want to have these lines blue so I'm going to uh, click on my uh, lock tool um, and I'm going to uh, just drag a selection box around them uh, and then I can press escape to get out of that lock tool. So now I've got um, my um, my vector lines. I want them to be in blue um, and uh, and I can get started uh, moving those. So I'm going to go up here to modify. I'm going to go down to move. Uh, the shortcut for that is uh, is just by typing M. I'm going to select just one letter at a time and I'm going to do the free movement. Uh, so I'm going to grab um, that and I'm just going to slide this over here. So I do find it easier to uh, to really kind of zoom in. I want to make sure that I want it to be connected here as well as up, up on the top a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this till it overlaps. All right, just that little bit. I think that looks pretty good. All right, I could probably come this way just a little bit. Um, so I've got it um, overlapping uh, here just a hair uh, as well as a little bit here in that corner and that's going to be perfect all right so I click OK 
So I'm going to go back to my move tool again. So just M. I'm going to select the F. And I'm just going to do that same thing. I'm going to drag this over. All right. Until it um, overlaps that little bit. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I want these to be connected here as well as a little bit over here. Okay. So um, I'm just going to drag this a little bit here. So here, it's, I think that's overlapping a little bit too much on the letters. Um, so I'm just going to keep things moving around a little bit. Um, almost make sure it's like one letter. And I can always come back and move these um, as well. Now that they're kind of overlapping, it does make things a little bit more difficult. Um, but uh, but it, it is still possible. So you can see I have it overlapping here a little bit. Um, overlapping. So these are what I'm actually going to be extruding, these little parts right here. So I can go through and if I wanted, I can trim these, but I'm not going to trim them just in case I want to come back and actually change the lettering. It's going to make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to go to my extrude tool and I'm going to extrude what I want to be that negative space. Um, which are these little spots right here, and you can see what's highlighted in blue. I'm going to try this. I don't think that's going to cut, uh, but I'm going to give that a shot and uh, and see. Um, we might get lucky, and it'll cut out. I'm just going to do a negative uh, 0.1 extrusion uh, since that's what my thickness of my metal is, and you can kind of see what that looks like. So there you have um, the initials uh, that will get cut out. So um, uh, stay tuned. Next, we're going to work on the pyramid that goes on the top. Um, and, uh, and then we'll be all set to start laying out our tool paths. Um, thanks a lot.